Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 6 and the name of our unit is Changing World. So my dear students, today I will deliver its fifth lecture and it's alhamdulillah the last lecture of this unit. So my dear students, uh, let's quickly recap that what we did in the previous lecture. So quickly listen to the question and then answer it. So previous lecture mein humne computer ki puri story padi thi, us pe ek pura project banaya tha. So explain in sequence that how did computers transform? Very good. So aapko puri story yaad hai. I hope aapne ye project complete kar liya hoga. Now let's move forward. So my dear students on page number 46, all the student learning outcomes are written. So Alhamdulillah, we have covered all these important points. Or uh, ab cover kar liye to now, now let's review um, this unit. So first quickly look at this uh, uh, Islamic perspective. So Allah says in Quran, O believers, fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for the people before you so that you may become pious. So my dear students, kyunki hum is unit mein uh, past or present jo change hua, kaise jo different things hai, they are changing with the technology, with the time with the needs of human beings lekin religion ek aisi cheez hai jisme teachings jo hai wo bilkul bhi change nahi hongi they will remain the same so jo teachings jo hai wo pehle logon ke liye thi wohi teachings aaj hamare liye bhi hai so my dear students um, in the first lecture we discuss about the past and the present so isme humne discuss kiya tha ki pehle jo hai communication skills kis tarah ke hote the uh, people used to write, write letters for communication. Now people write emails. They use their laptops, mobile phones or video calls for communication. Then the transportation system. The transportation system in the previous days was very slow. People used to walk or use animals for transportation. Lake in Archkal Johar, it is very modern. People use cars, aeroplanes, buses for moving from one place to another. Isi tarikhe se jo clothing hai, it was also very different in old days. Um, isi tarikhe se gharo ko garam or thanda rakhne ke liye bhi. Uh, in the past days, people used to build fires or wear light clothes in summers. Lekin nowadays, people, uh, the clothing doesn't matter. In summers, they can uh, switch on their air conditioners and fans. And in winters, aap aram se jo hai heater on kar sakte hai aur apne aap ko garam rakh sakte hai. So with the technology, everything has changed. So quickly tell me, compare the communication system of the past with the present. People used to write letters in the past. Now they use emails, laptops, mobile phones, video calls for communication. So how do people travel to far-flung areas in present day? Via cars, buses or aeroplanes. How have food and clothing changed over time? So in the old days, people used to prefer vegetables and fruits more. And nowadays, people like processed food or junk food more. So my dear students, then we discussed about past and present. We compared the pictures of both of them. We saw how the education system evolved. How the first time there was no whole facilities of education. In this way, the communication system, aeroplanes, they were not very fast ya bahut zyada logon ko travel karwane ke liye nahi hote the aaj kal jo hai passenger planes jo hai they carry so many people at a time from one place to another and then in older days people used to live in mud houses now there are properly cemented and houses made up of bricks so my dear students compare the, compare the life of people in the past with the present very good so my dear students then we discussed the uh, chronology of a wheel, yani ke timeline humne discuss ki wheel ki, uski story ke baare mein padha ke kaise jo hai, it started from a wooden wheel, wooden log and then aista aista ye evolve hote hote, inflated jo uh, air filled tires hain, uh, wo bane the 1845 mein aur uske baad jo aaj kal tires aap gaariyo mein dekhte hain, uh, wo they are the latest um, evolution of a tire. So my dear students, explain in a sequence that how did wheels transform? Very good, excellent. So my dear students, um, now we have completed the review. Now let's move forward towards the practice. For practice, you can download this assessment sheet or worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher. Write down your name and your class and then we will start the worksheet. 
So my dear students, the first question is what do you understand from these pictures? Explain in your words. So you have here two pictures. One is a bulb and a lantern. So past or present, how did they use it? You can write it in a few words. Next, what are chronological events? Define it. Then fill in the blanks. You have a word bank given. You have to fill blanks in blanks. In early days, dash were used to drag things. Air fill tires were uh, first invented in dash. Dash means timeline of events. Past time was far different from dash. In past, people used to communicate with each other through dash. So my dear students, this is it. Pause the video and complete this assessment sheet. I hope everybody has finished it. Submit it to your teacher. She will grade you or give you marks for the, uh, your uh, assessment. So my dear students, today for your homework, discuss with your parents how life has changed with time. See, now you know about past or present times. You have seen the computer evolution in the project. You have seen the wheel evolution. You have compared the pictures to the past or present. Ki. So now you are fully aware ke how past time is different from the present time which uh, we are living now. So you have to discuss your parents with your parents. You have to tell them about their feedback. Le, what do they think about past and present time? So this is your homework. So my dear students, now all the students are able to recognize that present time is different from the past in terms of living style, food, communication, clothes, etc. They are also able to identify how schools, communities and transportation have changed over time. And they are also able to sequence events in a narrative chronological order. So my dear students, I hope you have learned a lot of things from this unit. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.